We've been talking for a few weeks about how the state is now focusing more on hospitalizations than any other metric to determine how best to contain the COVID-19 outbreak. And tonight we wanted to take a closer look at how our local hospitals are feeling the impact. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. So as of Monday, the state says that there were 520 people in Western New York hospitals battling the virus. That is about double the highest number that we saw in the spring during the initial outbreak. But we also know the treatment methods are getting people out of the hospital in less time than back then. Tonight, two on your sides, Leanne Stuck spoke with local medical workers in COVID units to find out what they're seeing each and every day during this recent surge in cases. I would be lying to you if I didn't tell you it, that it's a lot. Christy Lease has worked at ECMC for nine years. She was promoted to critical care nurse manager in January, just months before the pandemic hit. On March 27th, we converted my six bed ICU into a 12 bed COVID ICU. Right now, 10 of those ICU beds have COVID patients. Though numbers may be increasing, Lease said treatments have made patients' hospitalization stays shorter. But the staff is dedicated to helping move the community through this crisis. Um, they are sacrificing their personal lives and time with family to take care of their patients in need. Um, but even when their glass is half empty, they show up 100% because it's what they love to do. Lee says though days can be long and exhausting, she says healthcare workers are like family and support each other through it. But when asked where she finds her motivation to keep going, she said, "We have had, you know, many patients leave and yeah, their their length of stay is, you know, I'm I'm referring back to spring, but their length of stay was lengthy, but they left and, you know, there's nothing that could be more rewarding than that. Buffalo General Chief Medical Officer David Pierce says he's very appreciative for all the sacrifices frontline workers have made. During the course of this year, I'm extremely proud of the staff, the frontline, you know, both the, you know, the physicians, the nurses, all of our staff, and all the people that have been through as much as they have been. At the end of the day, Lise wants you to know. COVID is real. Uh, I know some people believe that it might not be, but what we see every single day, you know, we live, we breathe this, it, COVID's real. Leon Stock, Channel 2 News.